That was a uh, great piece of content I read on uh, Coffee Blogger, and I want to say thank you very much for you guys out there on Coffee Blogger who are writing this stuff. I mean, you know, it's one of those places that I really key into. I just really get into it, and uh, you know, things like uh, Coffee Blogger, uh, Brian Gardner, um, you know, even Darren Rouse at Pro Blogger and Pat Smart Passive Income. Uh, these guys are just brilliant, awesome. Um, but this particular piece really rang true for me. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, thank you guys very much for being here on this video. If you're on my website, great. If you're on YouTube or Daily Motion or Meta Cafe, whatever. Hey, thank you. <laughs> my name's David Boozer. I am actually a highly successful online entrepreneur. I do work from home. Uh, I do a lot of SEO consulting for large companies and small business owners. I also have trained thousands of individuals, helping them to better build and brand and manage a business online. Um, and it's a blast. It's a blast. I'm having fun. <laughs> I think that's the, the most important thing before we get on with the social media thing. I think that's the most important thing that you can possibly do here is have a little bit of fun. You know, uh, you know, create a stir. <laughs> I know I do. Um, I think that's a great thing. But that's what it comes down to. I mean, when you start thinking about it, creating a stir, creating your message, giving an answer to the questions that people are asking within the search engines and, and uh, sharing all that stuff with social media. You know, when it comes down to it, how you know is, is your future online based around Facebook? Uh, no. <laughs> Matter of fact, I totally agree with them. Being strong-armed to promote my content on Facebook because their IPO sucked. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just it's just a flipping mess. You know, they should have stuck to coding and having some fun with Facebook and just let the advertising alone. Uh, they should have just had fun with it. No, I know you got to make money, and I know that making a lot of money is an awesome thing. I think when they did their basic, regular pay-per-click stuff was just fine. They introduced the timeline. I thought that was kind of a messed up, garbled a mess. Um, I really didn't like it. Um, you know, I think it really hurt their advertising. So I do agree with the uh, the information at uh, Copy Blogger. You know, here's the deal, guys. When it comes down to social media and what's expected of you to actually market online, you know, you can go out there and you can make money, you can drive traffic with Facebook, and I think that's fine. Through their pay-per-click or doing some really good fun campaigns in there, I think that's awesome. But the thing is, you have to remember this, that, that is not the end-all, be-all of your experience. Your long-lasting business presence isn't going to be on Facebook. You know, when we start listening, we start thinking, we start learning, we start looking, and we start understanding everything that 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 the internet marketing is, that building a good brand and building the you know a, a, a good brand presence is, it, it's not just social media. I don't care if it's Google Plus, I don't care if it's Facebook, Twitter, Bing, or whatever. I, I don't care, Bing, <laughs> whatever. I don't care. The thing is, is that YouTube, Daily Motion, all these different places do one thing. This is where we create brand awareness. That's it. Brand awareness. This is where we, where we sit there and we go and uh, you know, we promote a little content, a little PPC on, on Facebook. We go in there and have some Facebook pages and things like that. Um, you know, we go out there and we kind of create this awareness of who we are, what our business is, what our products and services, opportunities and affiliate stuff is. Um, this is where we create that brand presence, and that is perfect. That's exactly what you're supposed to be doing here. Sharing the links, sharing uh, uh, the images, sharing your ideas and thoughts and everything else, and that is awesome because it creates that brand awareness. But what should happen? You know, you have to understand, too, that, and this is a fact, 72% of searchers online who usually purchase things or subscribe to things and everything else, they trust search more than paid search, than social media, or anything else online. They trust search. Now, they know that these different organic listings are going to have some sort of, you know, ad, you know, we're all marketing something for the most part, and they know this. But the thing is, is that they know that if Google has ranked this on that front page, that for the most part, they're going to get the answer that they're looking for. And so here, what we do is, is with brand awareness, we're creating, if, if somebody has a need or somebody has a question and needs some help, they might find it on Facebook or Google Plus or whatever it is. And that's going to create that brand awareness. But those links and, that, and the, the, the basic funnel should lead them back right to your, your basic presence online, your blog or, or your website. 
This is where the next step happens. This is where the natural step happens, which is called brand trust. That is the most important part. This is what happens. This is where these people go. And the thing is, it's like if they don't have to uh, go back into the search engines, they won't. Because if you can bring them from, say, Facebook or Google Plus or something right into this site right here and build this, you're going to end up building that list. You're going to end up building that subscriber base. You're going to get more customers, more clients, and everything. And here's the deal with this thing right here. This isn't some shoddy crap hole of a, a landing page. This is actual information. You're going to help the people that sat there and needed an answer. They needed an answer. If I want an answer about something in particular about you know baseball bats, you better have that answer. <laughs> if not, I'm moving on to who does. Make the answer, and you have to create the content. You know, here's another uh, misnomer I think in, in, inside of uh, uh, internet marketing, especially with the crazy guru guys out there. They just they miss everything. I mean, and they do it on purpose, but they miss everything. Now that way you can buy the next answer. You know, the thing is, is that we live in the information age. So what is it going to take to market here? Information. <laughs> information. You're going to have to create the information. You know, as we've learned from Panda algorithm, uh, Penguin algorithm, all of its updates to its, you know, domain name structures and, and it's really nailed those recently. All the linking strategies have been nailed pretty hard. Um, you start thinking about it. What are they trying to focus on? That's right. The content, the written word, the videos, the multimedia that's within that main presence online that is you. It's not from some blurb on Facebook. It's not some from image on Facebook. This is just where the awareness is created. Hey, this guy might have that, that answer for me. Ha ha ha. But this lady, oh, look at this. She, she might have that answer for me. Or, you know, I'm just surfing around in Google Plus and all of a sudden I'm like, hey, that looks pretty cool. I'm, I might need something like that. Let me take a look at that. Boom, go to their blog, go to their website, start learning about what that need is, create that awareness. Create that need. If you have to create the need, go out and create the content that creates the need. You can do that. Anyways, I want to say thank you guys very much for being on this video. Get out there and create the need. You know what? Um, your, your lasting business um, here online is, is not going to be with just Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter. <laughs> You know, this is a place where we share those links, we engage in those, in the, in the links that we, we send out. That's another thing, social media engagement. Social media, that is the new backlinks, but it's the engagement with what we put out there and engagement with other communities within our niche. That's what counts and that's what creates that power for you in natural search, in organic search. That's what's happening today. Anyways, thank you guys very much on here. Get on there. Start to start learning how to build a brand and manage a business online. There's free videos down on the link here. If you're on my website, right there. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys very much no matter what. God bless.